is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the True Order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... that's very kind, but, um... No. No, but the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, Young Tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool, and plumb mad to boot, simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. <clears throat> yes. Now, allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Honestly, Godric's nothing more than a jumped-up country bumpkin. Lord? Oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots, rather than die like a man. <laughs> Has he no shame, the big girl's blouse? And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah, I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. Remarkable! <laughs> A blessing if ever I chanced upon one. Fine work, I say. Fine work indeed. I doubt that it was your intention, but the deed is done, and I commend you. Now, this is your reward. Go on. It's yours, for the keeping. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Volga shall not be left behind under the rule of True Order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. 
Just you watch. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Ah, you, is it? Ah, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. And one must be found with haste, and not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology, but now I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Be proud. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. I am the Lord of all that is golden. And what a pathetic excuse. Oh, this weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. He got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. I tell you though, what goes around comes around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? <laughs> You again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu. We met at Stormvale. I'm glad to see you here. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Ah, yes. 
I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room Encher's guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the Round Table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the soft justice to the oppressor, let the scar. You. Please. Leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. <sighs> ah. You've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly. What a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn. Quite frankly, I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, rather, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him, to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust in Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it.
No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his gun. And now... Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm... not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. So just after getting the crumbling Phantom Azula area, Rodrigo and Hugh will have a new dialogue. Some reason you have to complete that dialogue, it seems, before the next step can be achieved. And yeah, kill the fire giant or kill more god or all of these things it's a little bit tricky of how the next step happens I, I see a lot of people have had issues anyway get this dialogue kill the fire giant and don't make sure you don't give it a portion or his quest ends and you should be good anyway thanks for listening old Hugh I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now but maybe it's better that we don't it's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness in whatever small way I can. Please, become Elden Lord. Hugh was always saying that you were a lord to him. So slay her with the weapons he smithed. Slay the god Marika, who cursed us all. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior. So many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance surely lie elsewhere. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah. Quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of night. I hope it is... I will remain to but your guy, surely, Lion. Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Oh, I do fancy. Ancient dragon smithing stones. Yes, two of them. A uh, bit of a long quest. Kenneth and Nefeli here. Full quest. Member of the pitfalls. Quite a few of them. Quite late in the game before we can get these guys in. Like I said before. 
probably fire giant, oh, uh, crumbling forum, Azura area. I will remain. But yeah, it's a long one. But I, uh, yeah, it's glad I done it. And thanks for watching, guys.